Howdy, howdy, fellow YouTubers. Mr. Z, bunch of numbers here with a fancy, fantastic collection update for y'all's viewerships. And today, Flying Monkey has decided to join us. Um, he was in timeout for a while there uh, because of his bad behavior, because he's a mischievous monkey, as most monkeys are. But today, he said he wanted to present the Bone Shaker, so I figured I'd let him have a stab at it. So here he goes. Hello fellow YouTubers! Flying monkey here. This is the Bone Shaker. They uh, has some kind of flat paint. Uh, I think it has um, five wheels. It has um, some flamage, as Mrs. Z would say. It has um, some go wheels. Yeah, I, I like that. Go wheels. It's like holy cow, gold wheels. Um, it has um. A, oh, oh yeah, it does have a metal base. So for those of y'all who like that die-cast metal bases, this thing has it. Um, not sure if it's a plastic body, but it appears to be. But then again, it could be wrong. So, well, that's the bone shaker. I'll already have Mr. Z back now, and uh, I'll take this one. <laughs> Alright, flying monkey. You can have that one. Um, we'll move on to the rest of the cars for this update. So here it goes. Um, the first one is the Deco Delivery. As you can see, it's got the flat black, just like that bone shaker over there. Um, just so you guys can check it out. Um, it does have a metal base. Now I'm not sure this flat black is hard to tell if it's a metal body, but race grooves and all you guys who like to open them, uh, Master Loafer, open this one up and uh, if you get a chance and if you could um, do a response video because I really want to see if this is a metal body. I don't and I haven't seen more than one of these yet. So if you get a chance, open it up and do a quick review of it. That would be awesome. Please and thanks. And then again, back to the Deco Delivery, all metal car from the Delivery Series. This has been sitting in my grocery store for the longest time, and I've been waiting for it to go on sale because the garage and delivery, or I should say, delivery cars that are there don't sell. So it finally went on sale. So it was on sale for $2.79. So I went ahead and picked it up. I've been really putting off buying it because yeah, I figured it wasn't going anywhere fast and. I was right because it's been sitting there for about three or four months. So anyways, I finally picked it up. It's got uh, Doug's Headers graphics on the side. with a really cool looking uh, cartoon car with the big old exhaust pipe sticking out the bottom. Really cool. And then on to the other cars that I got recently. The Easter Eggs exclusive. Uh, 68 Nova with the all die cast metal. Great car with the metal base, metal body, and uh, opening hood as opposed to some of the main lines, this thing actually has an opening hood which is kind of interesting. So I thought that was really awesome and I picked that one up as well as the Easter Eggs exclusives Roger Dodger. Again it's got the metal engine plastic base like the uh, what is it, the uh, Duster Thruster. Of course a die cast body. Love the Roger Dodger casting along with the Dixie Challenger, which is the same car pretty much, just without the big engine. But this Easter Exclusives is really cool. I love this car. And the pink color is nice, very nice. So yeah, it was those two from the Easter Exclusives that I found that were the only ones worth buying, in my humble opinion. But some of you may like the other ones as well. There's the tuned Camaro Z28, the Blast Lane. The Brutalistic was kind of cool. It was like a green color with some small flames on the top. The uh, Dodge Viper didn't look like it was anything special. It was just a yellow Viper that had the little bunny logo on the front fender. And then the Ford Thunderbolt didn't like it because it has red wheels. It's like a flat, rusty red color. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's just I don't like the red wheels on it, so I didn't pick that up. And then the Volkswagen Beetle Cup also didn't pick that one up because it was a bad color combination. It's like white, weird, weird, like flat matte purple and I don't know I just it didn't appeal to me so I only picked up these two out of the eight cars and on top of that they're two bucks a piece so I'm not gonna spend 16 bucks on cars that I don't really love or like and these two I absolutely dig so got those two and then 
Another car I've seen in a video is the Meshbox Mover. Finally was able to pick one of these up. And it's got the die cast base, which is really cool. Die cast metal. Um, die cast metal cab. It's got the uh, plastic um, little cap in the back with a little window on top, which I thought was pretty interesting. But I really wanted to get this because I, I don't have a car that has like the Matchbox logo on it. And I really want to get this car. And I was glad to pick it up for 78 cents at Walmart. So that was pretty cool. And then last but not least is another car that I got for $6. The, actually, this thing is $6.05. The Mini Cooper Treasure Hunt from uh, uh, 2002. Um, it's not particularly the most valuable treasure hunt, but it is an all-metal car with the chrome interior, orange roll cage, really cool flames around the O2 on the top, which stands for 2002 treasure hunts, treasure hunt logo on the side. You definitely can tell this is a treasure hunt. Some treasure hunts don't have any logoing, and you could, if you take it out of the package, you wouldn't even know what it is. But this one, you can definitely tell is a treasure hunt, and it is very, very nice. I love this little mini and was very happy to get it for six bucks. So anyways, that's all for my babbling and uh flying monkeys. Oh <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed uh Flying Monkeys little uh review today and uh peace until my next one.